Hi, and welcome to this video series on Google Colab. I'm Jake Vanderplas, and I'll be your guide today as we look at what Colab is all about. Google Colab is an executable document that lets you write, run, and share code within Google Drive. If you're familiar with the popular Jupyter project, you can think of Colab as a Jupyter notebook stored in Google Drive. A notebook document is composed of cells, each of which can contain code, text, images, and more. Colab connects your notebook to a cloud-based runtime, meaning you can execute Python code without any required setup on your own machine. Additional code cells are executed using that same runtime, resulting in a rich interactive coding experience in which you can use any of the functionality that Python offers. For example, here we define a variable containing a range of 10 numbers. In the next cell, we loop through this range, printing the square of each number. For convenience, we use the Shift-Enter shortcut rather than the Play button to execute the cell. Cell outputs are not limited to simple text, however. They can contain any number of dynamic, rich outputs. For example, we can search Colab's built-in library of code snippets and insert code to create an interactive data visualization. This particular visualization is created with Altair, one of several third-party visualization libraries that Colab supports. Colab notebooks can be shared like a Google Doc, and for this purpose, it's useful to use text cells to provide a narrative around the code you've executed. Text cells are formatted using Markdown, a plain text document format that's rendered on the page. Markdown format is simple and powerful, allowing you to add headings, paragraphs, lists, and even mathematical formula. If you would like to share your notebooks with others, you can do so via Google Drive sharing, or even by exporting your notebook to GitHub. The notebook is stored in the standard Jupyter Notebook format, and so the notebooks you create can be viewed and executed in Jupyter Notebook, Jupyter Lab, and other compatible frameworks. The convenience of sharing notebooks means that you can find and explore many interesting notebooks around the web. One useful collection is the Seedbank project at research.google.com seedbank. For example, the neural style transfer seed shows how to use deep learning to transfer styles between images and includes a link to a Colab notebook where you can run and modify the code. To learn more about Colab, visit colab.research.google.com and find the welcome notebook where you will find links to tutorials and other info about Jupyter and Colab notebooks. You can also find the remaining videos in this series, which will explore Colab in more depth. In the next video, my colleague Lawrence will explore how to install TensorFlow using Colab and how to use different runtimes to access things like the GPU. See you there. Hi, I'm Jake. I'm a software engineer on the Google Colab project. And we've got lots of great videos for you about Colab, so feel free to hit that subscribe button.